All right, welcome back to a new lecture. I am I am pumped for this lecture. It is it is probably one of my favorite methods, and you're gonna get to know why because when you use it, you're gonna feel on top of the world. And this is this is one of the NLP methods that when you use it properly, you feel instant results. You see you see instant change, and it's just mind blowing. The first time I tried it, the circle of excellence. I'm just gonna talk about it in a second. The first time I tried it. I was mind blown. I didn't, I was not even aware that I'm able to achieve such emotional intensity and drive inside of myself in such a, in such a quick time. So, so now that I got you all excited, let's, let's start talking about it. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about a neuro-linguistic programming system called the circle of excellence, also known as the column of excellence. And I know that you're all pretty excited about it. So let's start talking about it. Now, before we begin, before we begin, hold on for a second. I want to tell you something. I want to explain to you what this method is uh, in a, a very briefly, because we're going to get to talk a lot more about it down the lecture. But what you need to know is that this method is used to put you in a very powerful mindset. You need to use your imagination and potentially even move your body. You should preferably use this technique while standing up and you'll know exactly why in a few seconds. You need to do some preparation beforehand. So what I want you to do, uh, whenever you wanna do it, is take a piece of paper, all right? And you wanna write down all the traits of the best version of you. If you take a second and imagine yourself, imagine yourself if you achieved all the results that you wanna achieve, if you, if you became the best version, the highest version that you can be, who would that person be? How would you feel? What kind of traits would you have? What would you think about? What kind of thoughts would you contemplate on? Write down as much details as possible and then read what you wrote about three to five times until you can form a clear image of that better version of you in your mind's eye. All right, now that when you do this preparation, we're ready to move on. And you don't need to do it now. You can feel free to finish the lecture and then try it later. Now there is a more effective way to use the circle of excellence. Uh, it's a method that I developed and I used with my clients and it worked effectively, is to record what you wrote and listen to it while you do the exercise. You might even wanna add some tunes to it. If you wanna record yourself um, basically saying what you wrote and maybe then edit it and add some nice music to it, just to get you into that inspired state of your higher self. And I know right now you probably don't understand and, and nothing makes sense, but I'm gonna start talking about the circle of excellence. What you will do is you will close your eyes, you'll be standing up, all right? You'll be standing up, you'll close your eyes and you will imagine a circle forming on the floor in front of you, all right? And in that circle stands an exact copy of you, but it's not really you, it's you but an upgraded version. It's the highest version of yourself, the best version that you can be. Now, as you're, as you're standing there and your eyes closed and you imagine the circle in front of you, as you listen to the recording or start remembering all the traits and key points you wrote, you will start adding those traits to the person in front of you, right? So let's say you wanna add the trait of courage. Well, how does that person look when, when he's courageous? What about calmness? How does, how does he look or how does she look when, when they feel a bit more calm? Now, some people might be confused and, and they might say, I don't know how to imagine this person being more courageous. Well, it can be as simple as forming a mental image in your brain of you handling a situation where you were very courageous. And it doesn't even have to be real. If you were never courageous in your entire life, which I highly doubt, there's at least one moment you can think of where you were courageous. But if, let's say there's none, you can imagine one. Just imagine one. Imagine yourself saving a princess. Or if you're a girl, imagine yourself saving a prince from a, from a lion that's going to eat him, right? Because your brain cannot tell the difference between what's imaginative and what's real. When you imagine something, your brain will believe it. And when you do this, when you start forming mental images, you will start embodying the emotions that you want to feel and when you embody the emotions it's easier for you to project it 
on that on that clone of you, which is the highest version of yourself standing in front of you in that little circle on the floor. Because as you do, you will notice that the physiology might be changing. Notice if the colors around the circle are changing or the colors inside the circle are changing. You want to feel the energy. Feel the energy building up in the circle. Feel this circle being so vibrant and so alive as you add the elements to it and keep adding and keep empowering it until you added everything you want it to add. As you add the elements, you add the elements, the colors, the traits and all that. Notice the circle getting more colorful, getting brighter, getting more vibrant. Feel the energy radiating outside of the circle. And when you're done adding all of those elements, Observe the higher version of yourself for a few seconds. And when you're ready, you're going to take a deep breath and step into the circle. You're going to take a deep breath and step into the circle. And as soon as you step into the circle, breathe in deeply. And as you breathe in, feel the energy, the colors, and all those elements fusing into you from the inside and out. Feeling, you want to feel that everything you added to in that circle... Uh, everything you added in the highest version of yourself, you can embody it now. It's getting inside of you. You feel the energy and the vibration all just, just getting inside your body and you can feel it radiating, empowering you, elevating you to become the highest version of yourself. And it gets more interesting. Once you're done, step out of the circle with all the elements and the mindset that you acquired. Then imagine yourself... This is where it gets interesting. Imagine yourself folding the circle and putting it in your pocket. This is you kind of using an anchor in some way. Because in the future, whenever you need to access that specific state again, all you need to do is stand up, close your eyes, reach into your pocket, take the circle out, fold it open, put it on the floor, and step into it. And as soon as you do, you'll feel that this state of mind that you were put in when you were standing inside that circle, you brought it to life again. And what you need to do is repeat, repeat and repeat. Keep repeating until you reach the desired state that you are trying to experience through the circle of excellence. So let's go through a little summary here. First off, you wanna build it. Build the circle of excellence in front of you. One step away from you, and you need to build it based on the elements that you want to add to it. The next thing is to see it. See the circle in front of you, forming with yourself in it, and build the elements step by step. The next thing is to feel it. Once you're done, take a deep breath and step into the circle. Feel it fusing into you from the inside and out. And the last step is to keep it. Fold the circle and keep it with you so you can use it in the future. I think by now you guys can see why I was and still am pretty excited about this method because it's so simple and it's so powerful. You can access it whenever you want, wherever you want. Literally, you take out the circle out of your pocket. When it becomes anchored, when you repeat it often and your brain gets accustomed to it, all you need to do, no matter how you're feeling, all you need to do is take the circle out of your pocket, unfold it, put it on the floor and step into it and before you know it, you feel this radiant wave of energy in your body that's so empowering and you will love it. Now, I just want to give you some last uh, tips if you want to try them. Uh, I found that some of them might be effective with some clients more than others and you, you don't really need them. But if you want to enhance the experience, I'd highly recommend you take some of these into consideration. The first thing is to set the moods. Do what you need to do to set up the proper mood for this exercise. You can watch an inspirational video or put your favorite song or melody. You don't want to do the circle of excellence when you're feeling stressed or depressed. Uh, if you can bring yourself out of that state, then that's perfect. Do that, get yourself set the right mood, and then do the exercise. Otherwise, wait until you are naturally in an elevated emotional state to anchor the circle of excellence in the first place. Just, just at the beginning, just for, for when you are getting used to it. But in the future, it's already anchored. It's, your brain is already accustomed to it. No matter what state you're in, you can just step in it and things will change. The second thing is to set the mindset. If you're having a hard time setting the mindset you desire, 
as I said, wait until you naturally feel it and then do the exercise. The third thing is to set the emotions. Make sure that when you first do it, you're either in a positive emotional state or a neutral one. If you're in a bad emotional state, you might have a hard time using this technique. Even worse, you might associate the technique with that negative emotional state. And lastly, set the vision. Set an anticipated vision. Don't just do it blindly. Don't just say, all right, I know what I want to add to the circle of excellence. Let's just get to it. You need to know your outcome. Know what you want to feel exactly and, and what you want to experience and be clear and precise about it. The more clear and precise you are, the more effective this method is going to be. That's exactly why I suggested that you might want to record what you wrote and add a song that really inspires you to it as a background music and listen to it while you want to do the circle of excellence exercise. This way, as you listen to what you're saying and it's your own voice and the music is inspiring you and you're imagining it, you can easily start adding those elements to the circle. And as soon as you step into it, you're going to feel amazing and you can access it at any point you want. So I highly encourage you guys to try this exercise. It can be phenomenal, it can be life-changing, and it just feels amazing.